Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, thank you to my precious subscribers. I love you all. We chit chat over the comments almost daily, some of us. Amen. And you mean so much to me and your prayers are so appreciated. Uh, and we pray for you. I have two prayer partners, as you well know. And many of you know we have a prayer card and we keep filling these prayer cards up week after week. And Mondays we pray. So if you have a need, leave it in your comments. We'll be uh, happy to pray for you week after week, if need be. Amen. So remember your thumbs up, folks. And again, I want to thank your super thanks and super chats. I've gotten a few donations uh, last month and so appreciate it. God bless you. Now, today I have one of those words. Uh, I was talking to somebody this week and uh, they were listening to somebody on YouTube and something that just wasn't lined up scripturally, uh, you know, was spoken to me. And, you know, folks, we have to be so careful. And maybe what that person said on YouTube was a one-time mistake, amen. You know, we all fall short of the glory. Uh, I know that I make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And yet, um, we know there are so many false teachers out there that are not sticking to the word of God. Amen. So I have a burden and, you know, I've been speaking about this for a couple weeks. And then, you know, this uh, person was saying this man on YouTube said this and it just it is it was so not scriptural. Amen. So we have to be careful. Amen. Line everything up with the word of God, folks. The devil knows his days are short. And um, if he can confuse us, you know, even for a few days, get us off track, uh, he will do so. So make sure everything you hear from the pulpit, from YouTube lines up with the word of God. Amen. So today I had the Lord, you know, following this burden, he, this morning he gave me a word about false teachers. So I'm going to read to you, and we read out of this often, Matthew 24, but other than the uh, Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 24 was the longest that God, Jesus spoke to the disciples. So it's very, very important that in these last days we get a hold of Matthew 24, study it, amen. And uh, I'm going to read uh, verse 4, I think. 4 through 14, and this is Jesus on the Mount of Olives with the disciples. And Jesus in answer said to, and he said to them, meaning the disciples, see to it that no one misleads you, for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will mislead many. And you will be hearing of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not frightened, for these things must take place, but the end is not yet. For nations will rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And in various places, there will be famines and earthquakes. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pains, that they will deliver you to a tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations on my account for my name. And in the time, many will fall away and will deliver one, and up, uh, one another and hate each other. And many false prophets will arise and will mislead you. And because lawlessness is increased, most people's love will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the whole world for a witness to all the nations. And then the end shall come. Thank you, Almighty God. These are powerful. There's so much in Matthew 28. And once again, it was the longest uh, sermon uh, time that Jesus spoke to the disciples. So it's important that we get it. And how many times through the scripture, even does Paul speak about uh, false teachers? And we are in the whirlwind and the turmoil of the last days, and they are arising. And, um, you know, um, I'm concerned, especially for the young believers. So folks, stay in the word of God. 
If you hear something and you get a check in your spirit, go to the word and make sure what was said is exactly what the word of God says. Amen. Um, I guess I was disturbed last week when that was spoken to me. And um, I, this, you know, it wasn't scriptural. Amen. And so um, I want you all to be very careful uh, at what you listen to. Go to the word of God. Go to prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Okay, here's the word that I got this morning. My children, uh, false teachers, my children have no other God before me. My lambs, the days are short and the time's very important. Watch my lambs. Search your heart often. Place me first in your life. Have me foremost in your thoughts. The mind can wander quickly and the flesh is weak. Line everything up according to the perfect will for your life. Not everyone standing before many speak with my anointing. I'm going to read that again. Not everyone standing before many speak with my anointing. And the Lord spoke here that uh, there are men that stand before many, many people, but they don't have the anointing. Amen. So not everybody standing before many speak with my anointing. My lambs, my spirit will bear witness. Yet you must be in my word and prayer. Many will come in my name. Yet children, many move in the flesh of men, not of the spirit of God. The enemy knows his days are short and he longs to discourage and confuse my people. My lamb, I say these words not to frighten you, but to make you wise. My lamb, study to be accountable. Know what my spirit speaks and pray without ceasing. When you hear false words, turn around and leave. When you hear false words, turn around and leave. And perhaps that's to leave a church. Amen. When you hear false words, turn around and leave. My lambs, be a people of courage. Stand up for the truth. Speak in boldness, my children. My voice will be one crying out in the wilderness. The wilderness of the last days. People are wandering in the desert of death. Many in the walls are dying, listening to dead words, fleshly words, lacking the truth that brings everlasting life. Oh boy. Many in the walls are dying, listening to the dead words, fleshly words, lacking the truth that brings everlasting life. Oh, my lambs, be on alert. The enemy can sneak in at a moment of confusion. My words lays out perfect truth. My word lays out perfect truth. Truth that will bring life, free those that need freedom. Woe to the men that bring glory to themselves. They will stand before me and know the error of their ways. My lamb line every word up according to my word. You are filled with my spirit. You will know when the truth is spoken. If these words come from man, dust off your feet and move forward. My children, you are filled with my wisdom and discernment, filled with my power to fight the good fight. Be of good faith, my lambs, I love you so. You are filled with my spirit, ready to fight the good fight until we sue me. I am truly moved by those that follow the truth and filled with my power. All glory to my name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, almighty God. I feel a spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's concerned. He loves us. He's concerned for his people, even the babes, even the babes. If you've been saved three weeks, you have the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit will give you truth, will lead you into the, the truth of the word. Stay in the word. Stay in prayers, you little lambs that maybe haven't been grounded a long time in the Lord. Be careful who you listen to on YouTube. You can always come into me and I'll point you to good preaching. Amen. I say their names on here very often. Amen. Be careful. There's so much stuff going on. Even me, something hit me this week and I will have to deal with it because it's not scriptural. Amen. So let me read it again. My children have no other God before me. My lambs, the days are short and the time's very important. Watch my lambs. Search your heart often. 
Place me first in your life. Have me foremost in your thoughts. The mind can wander quickly and the flesh is weak. Line everything up according to my perfect will for your life. Not everybody standing, everyone standing before many speak with my anointing, my lambs. My spirit will bear witness. Uh, Yet, child, you must see in my word and prayer. Many will come in my name, yet children, many move in the flesh of men, not of the spirit of God. The enemy knows his days are short, and he longs to discourage and confuse my people. My lamb, I say these words not to frighten you, but to make you wise. My lamb, study to be accountable. Know what my spirit speaks. Pray without ceasing. When you hear false words, turn around and leave. Thank you, Lord. We've got to stand up for the truth. Amen. Stand up for the truth. Speak in boldness, my children. Your voice will be one crying out in the wilderness, the wilderness of the last days. People are wandering in the deserts of death. Oh, my goodness, Lord. Many in the walls are dying, listening to dead words, fleshly words, lacking the truth that brings everlasting life. Oh, my lamb, be on alert. The enemy will sneak in at, a moment, at moments of confusion. My word lays out perfect truth, truth that will bring life, free, free those that need freedom. Woe to the men who bring glory to themselves. They will stand before me and know the errors of their ways. My lamb, line every word up according to my word. You are filled with my spirit. You will know when the truth is spoken. That's important. Just what I spoke out. You will. You are filled with my spirit. You will know the, when the truth is spoken. So that's for the babes. If you say, gosh, is this true? Is this true? You have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is our teacher, not only our comforter, but our teacher. Go into the word, study the word, and find out the truth with the Holy Spirit that lives within you. Amen. You are equipped. If you've been saved one day or more than 40 years like myself, we are equipped. But we must stay close to the Lord. We must be in prayer. We must be in the word constantly. Amen. There's a lot of junk out there, church, a lot of junk, especially now that we have this YouTube. It's wonderful. You know, we can uh, we can reach so many. We can pray for each other. Uh, God's truth is spoken. The word is opened up. And yet there's so much garbage out there. Amen. To take us away from what is true. What is truth? Amen. So if these words come from, let's see here, you are filled with my spirit, you will know when the truth is spoken. If these words come from man, dust off your feet and move forward. My children, you are filled with my wisdom and discernment, filled with my power to fight the good fight. Be of good faith, my lambs. I love you so. You are filled with my spirit, ready to fight the good fight until we soon meet. I am truly moved by those that follow the truth and filled with my power. All glory to my name. Thank you, almighty God. Thank you, Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord God, almighty God. Lord, I pour the blood covering upon each one listening today, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would fill them. Fill them, fill them, fill them, Lord, with all of your gifts, with all of your discernment, with all of your wisdom, Lord God. May they speak out in tongues and grow deeper in their prayer life. May they give you the glory and recognize that it's only you in each one of us, Lord God, that can bring glory to your name through your spirit, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that you would lift up each one today. You would comfort each one, Lord God, that you would grow us all up in the things of the spirit and that we would be wise to sense the false teaching, Lord God, and we wouldn't be taken down bunny trails, Lord God, in these last days. Let us be drawn with an urge to be in your word as never before to search out the truth, to cut through the lies of these end times times, Lord God. Be with your children, Lord God, whether they're saved two hours or 40 years or 60 years, Lord God. Be with your children today. Minister your love and your presence, all that you have in the spirit for each one today. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. God bless you. God keep you. Leave your name if you need prayers. 
uh, leave your comments, uh, stay in the word, amen, know that you serve a mighty God and he will lead you through his word and by his spirit unto all truth in these last days. You will cut through the garbage and go right to the truth because you have the Holy Ghost who lives within you. God bless you. God keep you. Thank you for listening. God bless.